What is up guys, Pie Muffin here, and we are back with another Tales of the Rays video. So, we're going to be going over the new event, we're going to break down everything that's in it. I don't actually know too much about what's going to be happening with this event, because after the initial event, I wasn't sure what was going to be coming next. Um, but apparently, they stuck Luke's final mirror jar and Mythos... Uh, his Yggdrasil form change together in the same event and banner. So that's what we have to look forward to here. So we're going to take a look at everything that the banner is going to have. Um, okay, so Tears Decisive Mirror Jar is back on this banner. So the banner is literally going to be Yggdrasil, Luke, Tear, and normal Mythos stuff. Okay. Um, very, very cool there. So obviously, uh, he gets his own five star. Looks like we got new five stars for Tier. Uh, Tier gets a new five star, it seems. So that's kind of cool. So Luke, Tier, and Mythos get new five stars. Um, looks like a new cut in for Luke, possibly. Is that a new cut in? It might be to go with his final mirror dart. So let's take a look here. So yeah, uh, obviously burst limit comes with that. Burst limit comes with Luke's new mirror dart. Let's see. Okay, they're just showing the... Oh, okay, here we go. So I wonder if Tears Overray is going to be unfeatured in the banner as well. Oh, that's right. Okay, so... I did actually mention this before, but apparently with Mythos' Yggdrasil Mirror Jar, you can use it on either Mythos or... Uh, well, I mean, it's still Mythos either way, but you can use it in both of his uh, slots. Oh, and we do get a free multi. I was going to do two multis because that's what I have. But uh, obviously, if we're going to get a free multi, I'll do that as well. So we'll look at the banner, and then afterwards, we'll go ahead and... Is this another step up? Oh my god, it is. And it does have uh, Rita and Estelle's Decisive Mirror Jar, which I did go pretty hard for uh, way back when. It looks like Dezzles is in here too, which I also went pretty hard for and wasn't able to get. So... Um... I guess if I get Luke's final mirror chart, you know, like if we do our multis here, then I'll definitely save up for this because we've got a good 10 days or nine days where this is going to be around. And it's pretty useful. I think uh, it's 10% rates. Oh, no, is it, step one is 5%, but then I think the later steps are uh, higher rates because I did the other one. Um, But yeah, so you've got your, okay, so different kind of step up method. What's the first? The first step is a full multi, but it's normal rates. Okay. Um, oh, is that what they're doing? So they're in the paid version. It's going to have both of their overrays. And then the normal version will not. Let's take a look. So, this should be Tears Overay, right? Yeah, that's Tears Overay. And then I assume it's not on uh, this banner. Let's take a look. Oh, no, wait, maybe it is. Yeah, okay, it's on both banners. I don't know why they're advertising it more on the other banner, but it's on both. Okay. I wasn't sure if they were going to pull a Tales of Link, because uh, with the Tales of Link banners, if you didn't see my video on that, uh, their crossover mirror charts are only on the paid banner. Might have to wait till next year to see that. But let's take a look at the normal banner and see what's on. How many mirror charts? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Yikes. And what's the rates for the new mirror charts? So Luke's final mirror art has a better rate to drop than the Yggdrasil mirror art? That's interesting. Yeah, you can see it right here. You can use it on either of them, so that's pretty useful. Hopefully they go back and change that for the other ones too. Because most people do would just end up using the... I, I mean, I know why with this one it makes more sense. Because it's obviously the same character. He can just at will become adult in kid form. But, I mean, I feel like there are others where I could apply to, like Schwan. I mean, it's just a, it's a wardrobe change. Um, but we'll see. Okay, so yeah, this is his final mirror jar. What? 0 0.5. It's still not great. 
it's still like over a rates but um it's not the worst thing in the world it's still obviously higher than anything else on the banner by itself but not by much you know all these unfeatured mirror arts have a higher chance than uh the mythos one but then these ones obviously don't these are uh i assume this is luke's uh okay that's luke's overay and what's this one that's his decisive mirror jar okay that's on here too hopefully they do this for the uh final mirror jar banners um but that's pretty useful okay and then we'll let's take a look at the five stars so new five stars for everybody that uh it seems like let me actually see Oh, okay, that's just for the new type of 5-star. That's the uh, kind of symbol that it has. And then, yeah, t so Tyr doesn't have a new Mirage Art, but she does have a new 5-star, which is nice. So uh, if you don't have stuff for Tyr, you know, you'll at least be able to get some stuff for her. I would actually not, if I pulled Tyr's Overay while I'm, like, doing some of this, I would not be upset because that was also something I tried to get. All right, I've rambled on long enough. Let's do the three multis that I have to do here. And uh, we'll see where it goes from there. So first, uh, first multi. Let's see if we can get some luck here. If I can at least get some mirror arts, uh, that would be grand. You know, unlike the uh, bad luck we had before. I'm not gonna skip. We'll uh, we'll let these play out because I'm sure it's only gonna take us like a minute to look at whatever the event is. I assume the event's not gonna have a story because it's like it's Luke and Mythos. So. I don't really expect to see any kind of, like, story there. But, um... Hopefully, at the very least, they have some, uh, tickets for, uh, Yggdrasil. Yggdrasil, however you want to say it. Um... Because, obviously, it'll be a little bit of a pain to gear him up. You know, if you're only gonna throw, like, a multi or two. So, first multi, not looking too crazy so far. I know, obviously, whether I skip or not, it's still going to be the same stuff in here, but mentally, I feel like I get better luck if I just sit through it. Even though it gives me much more uh, anxiety about it. I haven't really seen if... I've, I guess I wasn't really paying attention during the three stars, but uh, I don't know if we got any uh, form change mythos uh, weapons. Getting a lot of stuff for Tier, which, you know, four stars for Luke and Tier, don't need it all. I don't think I need any for Mythos either. Like, normal Mythos. Okay? Still not stuff I need. If Dix could just crack into a Mirror Jar, that would be great. Uh, okay, all old stuff. So, first multi, free multi was a bust. Oh, no, okay, we did get one of his three stars, so I guess that's at least something. All right, first multi down. We're going to do two more. But um, if we do pull Luke's Mirror Jar, I'll stop there. Because uh, I assume part two of the anniversary will have some pretty hype banners as well. I'm not going to spend anything on the upcoming uh, uh, race festival. As cool as, you know, Alpha and Crest Mirror Jar would be. Um, it's not something I specifically need right now. Speaking of stuff uh, for characters... Um, can I please just, like, show me a mirror dart? I'm just gonna end up thinking that... Okay, well, there's two five-stars in here, so maybe there's hope. Um, I did do one of the paid seasonal select things. Um, I selected Mila's... Uh, Fractured Mila. I selected her... Uh, you know what? Let's just skip through this. Oh, okay. I hear Luke. I thought with how quiet he was being, it was going to be... Okay. So, useless multi again. I'm not going to get mad. If I... See, he's already max duped. I didn't click that. He's already max duped out, so that doesn't do anything for me. I'm not going to get mad if we don't get anything, because, I mean... This is one of those really hard banners to get anything you want. Anyways, back to what I was saying. Um... You know, let's just... Yep, okay. As expected. I'm just going to stop... <laughs> I'm not mad, but I'm probably going to stop recording my summons, because whenever I record them, I get horrible luck. I get nothing from it. So, anyways, enough about that. 
Uh, I do want to mention, that I was trying to say, I did do... No, it wasn't this one. Oh, is it gone? That was it? I could have sworn it was going to be here for like another month. Okay, well, this one seems useful. How many mirror gems, though, do you need for this one? Okay, 3,500. It's a little bit more expensive. Um, but you would get to select any decisive mirror jar you want from this list. And then you also get a free multi-ticket that has all these things in the pool. Um, but there was a seasonal one. You could do three of them. I ended up selecting uh, Fractured Mill is seasonal, which is her bride one. And then um, I ended up maxing out Yuri's uh, seasonal during the uh, free multi that gave me. So yeah, there, there's my horrible luck for this banner. Uh, we're done with this. Uh, pretty much for the length of the banner. It's only going to be here till the 20th. They like to keep this stuff, when it's like limited stuff like this, they like to only keep it around for the length of the event itself. So I'll probably be able to get another multi or two in this. If I get something cool, if I don't, oh well. Um, and then I'll be skipping, I'll be skipping the, uh, the Rays Festival and then just waiting to see what they have for next month. Yeah, I, I think I should just not do summons on video anymore, because I what where is my luck? You know, the, we, our last summons had zero mirror jarts, and then this summon had one mirror jar, but it was a, a base one. Okay, so it looks like it's just a raid event. So you just fight against uh, Mythos here. Take a look at what's in here. We're not going to do the event right now, because I don't have a team set up or anything. Okay, so it's going to go through a bunch of Tails bosses uh, as we get the percentages up. And let's take a look at the rewards in here. Uh, okay, so you get tickets for... Okay, so this is normal tickets for these three. Does Yggdrasil not have his own tickets? Unless it's just included. Or does he just not get tickets because he's like a limited form thing? I hope that's not the case because that's kind of trash if it is. All right, let, let, let's see as we scroll down if we're going to see any tickets for him down the road. I'm just going to assume that he's included in those tickets. Because I, I don't know why they would give zero tickets for a form change character when... I don't actually know. Have they given us tickets for form change characters before? Maybe not. Okay, how much... Okay, so let's see what... Let's just see what's at the bottom. Obviously, no singular Yggdrasil tickets. Okay, you get a seasonal ticket at 3 million points again, so that's good. Um, you'll be able to uh, just get a random seasonal from that. I think that's a seasonal ticket. Looks like it to me. Um, but yeah, so it's going to be very simple. You know, you'll have your five bosses. Let me just set up the team just so you can see, like, what my bonus is going to end up looking like. Maybe we'll do one stage since we're here. Not gonna watch the story because we can't read it anyway. Has anyone changed their supports yet? Okay, some people have actually changed to Luke. Realistically, and I mentioned this before when they first announced Final Mirror Jarts, I'm probably going to end up saving for Final Mirror Jart banners now. You know, skip seasonal, skip all the other stuff, and mostly uh, do that because they're probably gonna have the highest value with the most stuff. Okay, so my team is going to be... I mean, you can't use Mythos and Yggdrasil on the same team because they're the same character. But I can at least put... Okay, Luke will have 31% bonus. Luckily, we do have Tyr, and she's a healer, so she's going to have a good bonus, plus keep my team alive. So that'll be nice. Then we put Mythos right there on the end. And then lastly, I guess I'll put Lloyd. I saw, well, actually, I want another caster. Who's my next highest caster? I'm not going to use Estelle because we already have a healer. Um, Melina, I guess, would work. Mint is a healer. You know what? Let's put Kohaku. She'll be fine. I think this will be a good team for this. And then our... Yeah, okay. So we're going to have 62,000 power, which obviously this first Welcome stage is going to be like Shining. nothing. I'm not even going to turn off auto because you'll see how fast this is going to go. 
Guess we'll go through all the stages since they're going to be pretty quick for the most part. 3,000 points for that first stage. Which, of course, if, if you farm that stage 100 times, it's only going to give you like 350,000 with that kind of bonus. So finding the highest stage we can do will, of course, be the most important. Loading, loading, loading. All right, Luke. I'll have to remember to change my support as well. It is a shame how bad my luck gets during the anniversary, specifically. I mean, I end up getting some stuff that I want. Um, I can't really say. I've, I mean, obviously, I did the paid, like, summon that you could do one time for the uh, raise OCs for their seasonals. But if you don't count that, I really haven't walked away with anything this anniversary that I haven't done, like, a paid summon for. I mean, besides, like, five stars, but, you know... Five stars are nice. They're obvious. In a way, five stars are more important than the mirror darts because you can actually use them as part of your combos where a mirror dart is just like when your gauge is filled up. Um, but obviously, the mirror darts are the shiny toy that uh, you always want to get. Because it, it appears every time you put the character on a, on a team. Alright, I think this... I think Mania might be the final one. I think there might be one more stage after this, actually. By the way, speaking of, since I saw Merity there in the support, they are doing a rerun for last year's uh, Attorney event, where they gave uh, seasonals, I think it was seasonals, to Keel and Merity, and then, um, I forget the characters' names that we got, but uh, they were two Attorney characters. The two of, like, the final, like, Kale's characters to be added. <laughs> Yeah, these stages are like nothing. It's not going to get harder till we get to the later stuff. Uh, like the later raids and all that. But obviously I can't show all those. I Even if I wanted to, I have to wait till the community itself gets enough points. Alright, unknown. Only 17,000 power here, but it's the 80 AP stage, so... Uh, I really want to see if anyone's gotten any of the new mirror jars so I can at least, like, try and use them. But it's not looking good yet. Doesn't look like too many people have gotten Luke's, or... I haven't seen anyone with Luke's new mirror jar yet. Yeah, so Unknown should be the final stage for this one until we unlock the other ones, and then once we have them all unlocked at 100%, then each stage should get another difficulty at the bottom. Or just the final one will, might get one. Oh yeah, another thing. Uh, Luke has a new cut-in, a new mirror jart cut-in, thanks to uh, his new mirror jart. So I, I think every character will probably get a new uh, cut-in with their final mirror jarts. Alright, so that's like 12,000 right there, roughly. Okay, and that's pretty much all the uh, all the stages for right now. Uh, the event's only been live for 22 minutes, so let's see how much percent we've got on this boss. I didn't really look when we first uh, hopped in. 1.9%. Uh, I'd say, you know, this event's only going to be here for 10 days, so it's going to be roughly, you know... Probably like every three or four, or maybe like every like six to twelve hours, one of these bosses will get completed. So I assume within two or three days, we'll probably be at this final uh, fifth boss at the end here. But that's going to be it, guys. Let me know what you guys think down below. If you did any summons, let me know how you guys did. And uh, that'll be it. We should have Ray's Festival starting on the 20th. And then uh, I believe that's everything they showed. So we'll have to see what's going to come for part two. I I'm going to take a guess since they did... You know, we got Ix, Melina, uh, Marcus, and Phil. I want to say that it, we could see 
um, what are the, Cocos, you know, Mercuria, like their group maybe get some Mirage Arts for part two. Maybe that's why there's two parts. You do the main group and then you do the, uh, the other group. But I don't know what new character they would add if they add a new character there. I mean, there's the blonde-haired girl. Um, I forget her name. Um, there's always Junior. I don't know if they would make Junior playable. Um, but there are a few options for new playable characters. They're not going to give us, like, Glass Stain or anything right now. One, because ev uh, everyone hates Glass Stain. <laughs> I don't think anyone wants... I, I mean, I, I don't want to speak for everybody, but I feel like most people don't really care for a summonable Glass Stain. And then, of course, I don't think we're going to get um, Demetrius until we actually beat him in the final chapter. Uh, whenever that's going to be. He'll probably be the final chapter character. Maybe him and Glass Stain together. Uh, will become playable at the end of that, but we'll have to see when that's even going to be. But let me know what you guys think down below. Don't forget to subscribe for if you're new to the channel. I'll see you next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.